Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have a good time together and enjoy learning about the truth. Before we start, we have a Muslim in the chat. His name is Adnan. Adnan is a guy who can destroy anything you have. He has Zach and Naik. Brother Tita, Adri Diabul, the Quran, the Tita, the Atke Quatin. Why Allah in the Quran, he promised only the men virgin. In fact, the Quran doesn't say that. The Quran used the word hur. And hur is the plural word. It can be for men, it can be for women. So this is the guy who can destroy me. The guy who said hur can be men and women. So he's saying that your mother, she will get 70 guys sleeping with her. Adnan, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of your mother getting 70 guys in the bed. However, the idiot Zakir Naik, he forgot that the word hur is about women. Why? Because the word before them, it says, يَطْمُثَهُنْ They will not bleed and using the noon, which is noon in Nuswa. Which in Arabic, we add this N letter for women only. So you bring me a donkey saying, this guy, he can destroy me. Shut up. Secondly, before we start, this Adnan, he said something very funny. And I find it very amusing how Muslims always, they call others pagan when they are the pagan. Look what he said. Adnan is Shir. You are a Shir. Do you know what Shir mean? Obviously you do not know, otherwise you will not call yourself such a name. Christianity is a false and pagan religion. Christian belief in this quotation, <laughs> one plus one plus one equal to three. First, you idiot. Can you show me one Christian belief in that? Can you show me where it says one plus one plus one? Idiot. Secondly, you know, I find it very funny that you are the one who kisses stone. And it's your prophet who says the one who touched the stones and the Yemeni corner, his sin is erased. And yet you call others pagan. So you kiss a stone, you go around a stone, you bow in front of a stone. Even when you deal with shaitan, you, you use a stone. You are from the origin of a stone, literally. And yet you are the one who call us pagan. Now look at this. The Muslim, they come to you, they say, one plus one plus one. We Christian, we don't believe in one plus one plus one. Secondly, you are the one who want to tell God how to be. Okay, I want to go with you. If you are against one plus one plus one, which we don't believe any, uh, in it anyway, how come Allah plus Jibreel plus Muhammad is equal to Islam? Because if we take one of them, Islam is not there. So you have the three musketeers. Allah. Jibreel and Muhammad and who is the most powerful in the bedroom is Muhammad not Jibreel not Allah Allah he says how I can have a child how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend however later we find out that Muhammad had the same problem he have a wife but he cannot have a child so when uh, Adnan he says something we laugh at it they repeat they are copy paste you know and they don't know what they are talking about you know, when somebody want to tell how God he can be, what about to ask the same question for your God? How Allah is one, yet he says, if we want to have a wife, we will take it from us. Allah will marry a woman from us. Us who? Adnan al-Shair? Uh, I don't know, he says the Shir. His name doesn't say Ashair. Ah, ash 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 he mean Ashair? Ah, okay. Oh, Shire, poetry, here we go. So his, his last name is a poetry. Okay, let's make a poetry. We got a guy, his name is Muhammad. He come with a book, trying to make poetry out of it, but he got nothing but stupid talk. Like this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, give me a word, Adnan Shir. I will make for you Quran about it. Adnan, challenge between me and you. Give me a word from you, and I will make... Quran about it, just to show you how silly the Quran. Hmm? Maybe I should use your last name. Ittahamu Muhammadun annahu bi sha'ir. Fala kana min ash-shu'ar, wala kana bi tahir. Zindiqun, atiqun, ghayru sadiqin, وفي الحرب نافر يخاف الكلاب 
وأصله وإسمه ابن كلا تزوج إنوى واختفى إنوى وقال هذا كلام كافر هذا مسلم يقول هذا هو الكرام 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 Uh, if I cause you to forget a verse, I will make you forget it or give you something similar or better. That is better? Right? <clears throat> and for sure, the Muslims, they will not like your Arabic because, you know, you are against Islam. It doesn't matter what you say. You, can do, you don't even speak Arabic. Right? So if we read the Quran, we will find that the book is very silly, very stupid. Now let us go back to our topic. Forget about this kid. Obviously he disappeared. I don't know. Is he still in the bushes or he ran away? And uh, why you don't call me Adnan al-Shair to tell me how Christians believe in one plus one plus one? So we can love together. Hmm? You know, uh, I saw a video. Somebody asked uh, Shabir Ali, is the attribute of Allah is distinct from Allah? Shabir Ali, he said, I cannot answer you that. I, I will not answer it. <laughs> so Allah have 99 attributes. Is it distinct from Allah or its persons? Allah, he called himself we. So you ask the Muslims, why Allah, he say we? They say because he is majestic. So even you Muslims, you claim that we will make Allah sound majestic. But when we say that we believe in we as one, you say this is wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, the stupidity is amazing, man. If you read the Quran, all of it, it's about it is us, it is us, it is us, but Allah is one. And Islam is against believing that Allah is us, He is one. Okay, why is all He use us? They say, oh, because it's majestic. So Allah, He found that it is more honorable for him to be we, not to be I. Are we listening, guys? So Allah will not be feeling good if he call himself I. So he say we. We, 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 we. Imbalance. Right? Yeah. Anyway. Our topic today is about the uh, the creation of Adam. Who is the God who created Adam? If there is any Muslim can prove to me that the one who created Adam is Allah? Any Muslim? I will open my uh, Skype so we can receive calls from Muhammadan. Uh, you know. Any Muhammadan would like to call us to prove to us the point, and please don't change the topic. As you see, this is the title. We want to finish it. Let us open Skype. <clears throat> if you are a Muslim and you think you can prove to us that the one who created Adam is Allah please feel free my Skype is open right now and we will start taking calling from calls from Muhammadan and Muhammadan only for now all right any Muhammadan starting from Mr. Adnan Shair Ya Shairun Bila Shair Any Muslim? See, open challenge for any Muslim to prove to us that Allah is the one who created Adam. And I promise you, we will use only Islamic books to prove that this is not true. Is it amazing? We will use only Islamic books to prove that Allah cannot be the one who created Adam. Challenge. The follower of a God, his name, it is us. al -lah. God lah. Anyone? So we can start saying, may they, may they, call me, call me. It is us. 
asking you to call us. Hey, Christian Prince, why you are saying you are us? Aren't you one? Oh, it's majestic. Allah is copying the language of a human being, trying to make himself majestic by stupid word. I mean, if you are not majestic, nothing will, come, will make you majestic. Word will not make you something different. It is us. Any Muslim want to call us to prove to us that Allah did not create Adam or he created Adam? Uh, we don't have too many people yet because we did not inform in advance about our broadcast. But maybe soon people will come. Anyway, it doesn't matter really. Uh, God is good. And the purpose is education always, not the number. Any Mohammedan would like to call us and tell us how Allah created Adam? May they? May they? So if I am not, you see, when I open my, uh, like I, I set up a time for going live, then you will find the Muslims coming to the chat and posting all things. The second I start even texting or go live, this disappear. Want to debate you about your corrupt Bible and the Trinity? No problem, Adnan Shir. Here we go. We are talking about Adam. Call me and prove my corrupt Bible. You know what? I'm willing actually to change the topic for you. I challenge you to call me right now and debate me about the corrupt Bible. What do you think, guys? That's just to show you that you are a coward. And you don't dare to say even what you think you can do. Call me. I will make everybody laugh at you and yet you're a prophet by the accusation you just made. I will give you five minutes to call me and to prove to me that the Bible is corrupted. Otherwise, I will start humiliating your prophet using the sentence you made. What do you think? The sentence you made, not me. Let me take a, a selfie of your sentence so I can uh, put it in the screen and everybody can laugh. And we are waiting for Mr. Adnan to call us. Uh, where is Adnan? Man, the text go crazy. Uh, here we go. Let us take a selfie for Adnan. And you know, the reason Muslims, by the way, they don't dare to, de to debate me or even to argue with me is I use always their stupid argument against them. So Adnan will not call me for sure for his potato as his prophet, as the angel Jibreel of Islam, not our angel. He could not enter the house of Muhammad because of a puppy. I mean, you have a prophet, his message of God coming to him stopped because of a puppy. Mayday, mayday, Allah, please, I could not get inside the house of the prophet to deliver to him the Quran. The Quran stopped because of what? Brothers and sisters, the prophet was receiving Quran. And then the angel came to deliver the Quran. And then because of a puppy, the angel could not deliver the Quran. For angels cannot enter a house, have a puppy. I mean, who is the puppy here? The one who made this story or the one who is afraid of a puppy? So look what you said, because you are not calling me. So let me get you busted from your statement. I want to debate you about the corrupt Bible and the, and the Trinity. You stupid idiot. You want to debate me about the Bible sent by Allah, corrupted? You just get your prophet busted. For number one, when the Muslim, they say the Bible is corrupted, yet they claim that Allah is the one who sent the Bible. So what he is trying to prove to you, that his God Allah could not protect his book. I mean, how silly stupid this religion is. Do you see what I'm talking about? The Muslims, they work so hard to prove to you that the book of their God is corrupt. Okay, good for you. Your God is an idiot. He sent the book, he cannot protect it. This is what you prove to me. You want to debate me face to face? Trust me, my friend. If you see my face, you, 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 you will faint. Why you want to debate me face to face? 
I saw a Muslim saying he would debate me as to ask the same as your prophet. When the Christian they came to him, he turned his, his ass to them and let us let us do mubahala. What does that mean? Let us curse the one, invoke curse, and the one is lying. He could not answer them, he could not debate them, he have no answers. So he said, Let us ask Allah to curse the one is lying. <laughs> as if, and, and here see you see the stupidity of Muhammad. Because are you saying that Allah will not curse you unless you ask him to curse you for lying? So what Muhammad is saying in this verse in the Quran, let me show you the verse so we can laugh a little bit at the stupidity of Muhammad. Muhammad is a certified stupid. What we learn from this verse, that the Muslims believe that Allah will not punish you unless you ask him to punish you. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> so we, we have to say, Oh Allah, it's a challenge, Allah. If I'm lying, Allah, cut my tongue, Allah. I hurt my finger, Allah. <laughs> yeah, you need to ask God to punish you for you are lying. As if you are lying, you will not be punished anyway. Yeah, this is Islam. This is the garbage of Muhammad. Right? This is the garbage of Muhammad. Let us see what the Quran say about that so we can love together. Chapter 3, verse number 61. And if they dispute with you in this matter, what matter about Jesus? Muhammad have no answers. If they dispute with you about Jesus, tell them, okay, bring your sons, I bring my sons, bring your women, I bring my women, and let us invoke curse, and the one is lying. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! What an idiot! So a Muslim, if you want to debate, he should not be debating. He go in the stage. Two Muslims are debating. Let's say Shia and Sunni. The Shia, he take the microphone. He say, Allah, may Allah close the door of the van over my private part if I'm lying. Your turn. Abdul Zakir Naik, he will take the mic microphone. I invoke the curse of Allah. If I am lying. And he will make me skinny. Uh, uh, Zakir Naik, you already skinny, you idiot. What do you mean skinny? He will, will make you skinny. So this is this is a debate. And look at the Pupu Muhammad he made already in the verse before it. He says the similarity between Jesus and Adam that Allah said to them both, be and he was. But if you go and read the Quran, you will find neither Jesus, neither Adam was created by saying be. In the case of Adam, Allah, he made mud, which means he mixed dirt with water and then he fashioned the mud and then after that he breathed into the mud where is B so the answer of Muhammad is an answer of a bee who have no honey she just make whizz, whizz, whizz. did Allah created Adam by saying B show me where the Quran say different story and here we notice that there is no way Muhammad can be from God. So when we say, which one is the one who created Adam? The answer for sure, it is not Allah. Why? He don't know how he created him. He tried to copy other books. How you say he said to him, be, and he was. When you yourself in your book, you say, no, I made mud. I fashioned the mud and then I breathed into the mud. And then Adam was not by saying B. Secondly, there's a very important question about Adam and Allah. If we ask the Muhammadan, and I want the Christian to focus here with me and take a note. If we ask Adam Muslims, how many versions Allah gave Adam in the heaven? Okay, show us where. Adnan, guys, just to show you, here we go. Do you see? They have no answer. 
Uh, Allah created Jesus, peace upon him as Adam. He said to him, be and he was. Okay, where? Show us. Let us, we can go, if, if you are, if you, if you dare, call me right now and show me the verses of the creation of Adam and the creation of Jesus in the Quran in details. And you will see in either way, it was B. In the case of Mary, we send our spirit and he breathed into her, in her private part, and she carried Jesus. In the case of Adam, he fashioned mud. He made mud. And then he fashioned it. And then Adam came to existence. So where is the where is the creation? You see, this is the challenge. You, you speak to Muslims about zucchini, they answer you about burkini faso. We have already verses in the Quran. How Allah created Adam. Read carefully. Behold, the Lord say to the angels, which Lord we are talking about? The Lord of the Abdul, the fool. I am about to create a man from sounding clay and mud molded into a shape. Do you see it? And when I have fashioned him and I breathe into him of my spirit. So how Allah he created Adam? It's in the front of you. Where is B? Where is B and he was? Are you there? Where is B and he was? So in one verse in the Quran, Allah says that Jesus same as Adam, but all of us we knew that neither Jesus, neither Adam, even in the Quran, was created by B and the proof in front of you. In the case of Mary, Allah, he sent his spirit, appeared in front of Mary as a perfect man, and then breathed into her vagina, as the filthy Quran speak. And this is how Mary, she have a son. Are you searching Google, Abdul, Adnan al-Sha'ir? Huh? Are you searching Google how Allah created Adam? It's in front of you. So if Allah said to Adam be and he was, and this is how he created him, this means that those verses are fabricated. For those are the opposing the statement of being be and he was. Are you there? The only be I believe in, in the case of Islam, is to be a fool and follow me. As Allah. Be a fool and believe that I am God who will provide you in this private part. That is a foolish belief. This is the only way to, to, to come to the be stuff. Where are the Muslims? Now let us move to a different issue. With Adam, still we are in the same topic. If you look in this picture, which is presenting Adam in the heaven, made by artist, for sure it's not real. At that camera, as you know, there is no pictures and there is no cameras. And Adam was not using selfie a camera because at that time his, his phone had only uh, the, the rear camera. The selfie is not there yet. All right. So if you look with the picture, you will see there's a man and a woman. Anyone knows what I'm going to say about Islam? If the Muslims themselves believe that the first man was exist with one woman in heaven. So how come we will go back to heaven and instead of having one woman, we will have thousands? What happened? You know what I mean? You see, every author, he have a signature for his book. So Muhammad the thief, he stole a story from different book. And then the story, obviously, uh, spoiled. So if God, he wanted Adam to have women, then he will create Eve's to Adam. This is heaven, the same. So how come Adam in heaven, 
Was the was the Adam the, the heaven of Adam at the time of Adam was not good enough? Allah He decided to give more women. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, the, the story of Adam landing in Sri Lanka and uh, uh, Eve was landed in different uh, galaxy. It's another story of Muhammad, which is funny and stupid. You gave reference in the Quran? Check it. Where you give it? I didn't see reference. Did, he, did the Adnan al-Shahr give reference? Where is the reference? So what I'm showing you on the screen is not reference? You don't agree with this, uh, what in the screen? Give me, give me the verses. Give me the reference in the Quran about how Allah created Adam by saying to him, be. Actually, you know what? I will shave my 20 foot mustache and beard if you can show me reference in the Quran. It's a challenge. By the way, it's not 20. I mean, it's, I think it's 2021 now. Because I'm using the Quran as a fertilizer. What do you say? My voice make you crazy? Oh, one, hey, wait, wait until I take a shower and sing. Mean. In the method, Isa, you idiot, you are repeating the same phrase. I am the one who quote this phrase. You are quoting it for me, you idiot. Isn't it me who showed you this verse first? Well, this is the contradiction. You are showing me a verse saying that Adam, this is the whole point. Adam and, and Isa was created by me. But this is against the Quran. This is a chapter 3, verse number 59, saying Allah He created Adam and Jesus by saying B. Then we go and read the rest of the Quran, we will find that Allah did not say B to create Adam. In fact, it took him a lot of time. And actually, there's a verse in the Quran where it says, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا What does that mean? And the human being was ever hasty. Why? Because uh, Adam, he asked Allah to finish him fast before the sunset. <laughs> I mean, what is that? What the heck? Read the interpretation. Adam, he asked Allah to finish him before the sunset. So where is was B? And he was. No, you did not give me a reference. The reference, I am the one who gave it first. This is the first, and I, I am the one who said that. We went to the Quran. And we did read this first, this verse about Mubahala cursing each other and then I am the one who said look at the stupid Allah what he said that he created Adam by saying B so you gave me nothing secondly this is what I am using against you so you give it to me you idiot I'm using to you this to prove that the Quran cannot be from God look what the Quran says the Quran says if this is a book other than made by other than Allah which means the true God supposedly you will find uh, a lot of contradiction Right? So your God, He gave us the, 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 uh, the base to find out how the Quran, if it's from Allah or not, if Allah is true God. Chapter 4, verse number 82, it says, how come they cannot consider the Quran? In the time of Muhammad, nobody considered it. It's a stupid book. And until now, it's a stupid book. Had it been from other than Allah, they would surely have found therein much contradiction, differences. Okay, this is one. Here we go. One verse saying Allah created Adam by making mud, fashioning the mud, then he breathed into the mud, and then even Abraham, uh, sorry, Adam, he said to him, please Allah finish me before the sunset, it's getting late. Another verse says Allah, he said to him, be, and he was. So which one? Which one? Any Muhammadan?
No answer. How Allah he created Adam, and then Allah he think that the belly bomb of Adam because of the spit of the devil. What, brother? What? The belly bomb because Adam he spit sorry shaitan he spit at Adam brother is that science brother actually let me show you something very funny as long as Mr. Uh, uh, Susu uh, said what he said <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I hate myself sometimes. I hate myself. I mean, Allah could not find somebody to defend Islam except those fools. I mean, he have the worst lawyers. They are not only liars, they are really low IQ. Look at this. And I'm going to use Google Translation because it's in Arabic. For sure, we cannot find this in English. So it's okay, no problem. This is islamweb.net, as you see, very well-known Islamic terrorist website. And this is the book of Al-Bidayah and al nihaya of Ibn Kathir, brother. Page number 200, brother. Volume number one, brother. Mr. Adnan, are you there? Adnan, are you there? Guys, read carefully. I will use Google Translation in a second so we can read. <clears throat> According to Muhammad, when Allah he made the mud of Adam, how Allah he made the mud of Adam, 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 bees upon him. Brother, do you know how Allah he made the, the Adam brother? Guys, have you ever seen, uh, uh, like, like in some areas, when they make uh, wine, women, they step over the, the grape? Did you, did you see any, like in villages, they do that? According to Muhammad and Islam, this is how Allah created Adam. So, let us see. How he did. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. When I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's read this. Start from here. Oh, because you know the pages are so long to read, so we want to like focus on the important. It looks like we froze here. Uh -huh. Okay, let us see here. <clears throat> the Prophet said from Anas, لما خلق الله آدم تركه ما شاء أن يدعه فجعل إبليس يطوف يطيف به فلما رآه أجوف عرف أنه خلق خلق لا يتمالك أو لا يتهالك سوري let us see if we can find this hadith in English when Allah created Adam he was empty from inside like a statues and then shaitan he started doing tawaf like they do around the Kaaba 
and this is in Sahih Muslim as you see so where is was where is B this is Adam now is not created in full yet he is just a clay a clay which is empty from inside do you see it people do you see it so how Allah created Adam said to him be and he was so even after he fashioned him actually in different story it says he let, he let him uh, he made mud by making the angels walking over the mud for 40 years for what 40 years stepping over the mud for 40 years so how you say to me Allah he says to him be and he was Hello? Hello? It's me you're looking for. I will spank you today as before. And it doesn't matter what do you do. Vaseline cannot help you. Hello? Hello, your prophet is a joke. And your God is a God does not exist to invoke. And we made fun of him because he is nothing but a rock. Hello? Are you there? What is was he knew he we know this is Sahih. This is Sahih, brother. Are you there? I already gave you a reference. Okay, I'm giving you a reference too, and I gave you a reference from the Quran. This is a contradiction showing that Islam is a fraud. The Quran says, if this is a book not from God, you will find contradiction in it. Thank you very much. How Allah created Adam, read. Oh, I forgot you don't know how to read. I need to squeeze you. By the way, in the ancient days, angels, they used to squeeze people to activate them. Uh, uh, I now I announce you uh, uh, activated as a prophet are you blind does it say it took it took 40 years huh and then after that after he made the, the mud for 40 years and let me show you the story of the 40 years too so people will laugh So people what? So people will laugh. Give me a second. Actually in the same page there we can find it. You know, but you have to read the whole story there. You know, which is very boring. And Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, he said, the prophet, he said the following. Let us get this hadith in English. I hope we can find it in that website in English so we can laugh more. Are you ready for the disasters? One after one. How Allah created Adam. Hmm. Uh. <laughs> this is another story here, but this is for later. Uh. <laughs> this is a different one. Uh, okay. Uh, look like we cannot find the same story in English here. However, let me translate for you. In Allah khalaqa Adam min turab, thumma ja'alahu tina. Allah, He created Adam. First, as a dust, 
and then he made it as mud and then he left him until he became bur burned clay ham haman masnoonan Allah he made Adam as we made bricks does it say that yes So Allah, he made the statues of Adam. First, he made the mud. He made the, the, he, the, he brought the dust. And then he mixed it with water. Then he fashioned him. And then he put him in the oven. And then he say, he left him until he became salsal and kalfukhar. But it's the same. It's uh, Hamam Masnoon and it's the same as salsal, you idiot. فَكَانَ إِبْلِيسٌ يَمُرُّ بِهِ فَيَقُولُ لقد خلقت الأمر عظيم خلقت لأمر عظيم. Let me translate into English so people can laugh with me. That Allah, He created Adam from dust, brother. Oh, I hope my connection is not going bad. Is it? I hope not. Be patient if the connection go bad. Just refresh, refresh, refresh your page, please. So let us read together. And remember, this is Google translation. is silly, right? But it's okay. So Allah, he created Adam from dust, and then he made it a clay. And then he left it, even if it was an old sludge, created by God and its image, and left it uh, 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 like, I mean, translation here is like, uh, you know, funny. So he make it like a brick, you know, he, he, he made the mud. He made it obviously from red mud, the one you make a brick. And then uh, he put it in the oven. And after that, here translation is very horrible. Actually, the English translation is just destroyed all all the all the sentence. But anyone who speak Arabic, he knew what I was talking about. Where is Allah? He said to him, "Be," and he was. And what about the forty years? And then Shaitan he came around him, walking around him. Let us see the rest. Oh boy. <clears throat> Guys, again, if we lose connection, if you have a buffering from your side, just refresh your, your side, we will be fine. Um... Let us see. Let us search here. For how Allah, he left Adam as mud. I don't know why the search engine is not working here. It should work. Let us try again. Mm -hmm. It should appear in the beginning. Of the, when I search, oh, here we go. Uh, why this one? Uh, no, my page is frozen for some reason. When I type in the search, it's not working. Let me redo it again. Hold on. We translate to English. And then we search. 
Okay. Guys, read with me carefully. This is Ibn Kathir. He was a, bud, a body of clay for 40 years. He was what? Adam was a body of a clay for 40 years. So when you say to me that Allah created Adam by saying be and he was, that is a lie. Muhammad, he said then. Do you see it? 40 years. And the translation here is not really accurate. The angels was walking over even the clay before he made him as a clay. Before he made him as a, as a, as a, as a statues. And then, uh, Shaitan, he spit at Adam. He spit what? He spit at Adam. And what happened? The second he spit at Adam, that became his belly bone. Brother. Uh, look what we see now. Commercial. Let us go back to the Arabic. Oh, this is different now. I mean, hold on. It's a comedy, isn't it? Let us do it again. The intelligence of Islam. Appear in Muhammad and his followers' stories. Let us see if we can find it first here. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time. Oh boy. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. Let us see. Uh, hold on, in this page we have something very important to mention. Very important to mention. Let us show it. Imam Ahmad said that when Allah he created Adam, he hit his right shoulder, and from the right shoulder, the white offspring came like white ants. And then he hit his left shoulder, and from that, black as shirkal came out. Then Allah, he said, to the one who came from the right shoulder of Adam, which means the white people, you go to heaven and I don't care. Wala ubali. And to those who he created from the left shoulder of Adam, which means the black people, you go to hell and I don't care. Are you there, Adnan? Are you there? So here Allah is explaining how the black people are created. He created black people according to the filthy Muhammad, the racist Muhammad that they are supposedly, they are made to go to hell, and the white people, they are made to go to heaven. And I change any Muslim to say I'm lying.
Actually, there is a there is a link about it translated by Muslims to English. If somebody have it, please post the link from the admins. I don't know if any of you have it. Adnan, are you there? Does it say that? That the Prophet said? Let us try to translate this part of the page using English, Google, which is not really that much of accurate translation, but it's okay. Uh, uh, here we go. The admin, thank you, uh, TP, for posting that. Here we go. This is the hadith in English. You can all of you open it. That will save us from uh, going to Google stupid translation. Allah Messenger said, Allah created Adam when he created him and he struck his right shoulder and there emitted from it white of spring as if they were white ants. And he struck his left shoulder and there emitted it's a black of spring, as if they were charcoal. Then he said to those who they are emitted from the right shoulder, which means the white people, you go to paradise and I don't mind. And then he said to those who they are emitted from the left shoulder, which means the black people, they go to hell and I don't care. That is Islam, my friend. That is the truth about the cult of Muhammad. Any Muslim have a comment? And you know, the second you show them something, as long as they don't like it, they say, it is Daif, it's Daif, no it's not. It's Daif, it's Daif, it's not. It's Daif, it's Daif, anything is Daif, by the way. Because Daif is accepted. Daif is accepted. Who said that Daif is rejected? The guy, the Sheikh Hamza, he said to the Muslims, the one who refused weak hadith, he have a weak argument. <laughs> and uh, when I got to this place, I told him what happened. I was completely devastated. I really was in a state of shock. He said, read 41 Yasin. I guarantee you it'll come back. <laughs> so I swear to God, I spent the whole night reading 41 Yasin. I really did. I just read 41 with total and utter belief mm. in what he was telling me. The next morning, and then, wallahi, as Allah is my witness, the next morning I went to the train station. It was just... Anyway, now he's telling his story. But let us go to about the hadith. What is the hadith? Yeah. So how did the ulama deal with that? The ulama dealt with it by saying that for fadail al-amal, those actions that are virtuous, uh, you could do use a weak hadith if it was a virtuous action and it didn't relate to a hukum. In aqidah, the opinion of the Ash'ari and the Maturidi is the hadith has to be mutawatir. That you can't. That's why a hadith like the Nur al Muhammadi, which is an ahad hadith, uh, is not used in aqidah. Or the hadith that tu'arad alayya amalukum or amal ummati in al bazar, which is a sahih hadith. So. The ulama don't reject weak hadith. They don't. And the, so this argument against the weak hadith is, is, uh, is a weak argument. And that is why... It's a weak argument. It's just an excuse to get out of the stupidity of their prophet. Anything you show them, it doesn't make sense. It's stupid or it's evil or it's ugly. Right away, they say it's a weak hadith just to make it as if it's not, you know. And he explained to them actually, that when you say weak hadith, you know, it means it pass. Weak hadith, it's, 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 it's have a rank. All the hadith that he put in, I put in there, and some of them were weak. But there, there's, there's an attack on weak hadith in our time. Weak, weak, a weak hadith is, is anywhere from a B minus to a D minus, all right? A Hassan Hadith is, is a B to an A minus. And then a Sahih Hadith, I'm just using so a language you can understand. An A minus is like a, 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 a Sahih Hadith is from an A to an A plus. 
to 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Al-Bukhari is like 98%, 99%. Muslim and Bukhari, 99%. Uh, Sahih Muslim, 97%. So, the, the, uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that, that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. It passed. So, brother, it passed. It passed. Do you believe that the Quran is the word? Okay, but the Quran cannot be the word of Almighty God. Okay, how the Quran is the word of Almighty God, but this God, he think that women have a sperm coming from their ribs. Explain that to me. And men, they have a sperm coming from the backbone. Huh? I want to go with you. You believe that this is, I believe, uh, in authentic hadith. So if the hadith contradict the Quran, we reject it. You are a liar. The hadith about forbidding the muta is accepted by you. The Quran says you do muta. So how how you accept that? See, the statement when the Muslim they say, if the hadith contradicts the Quran, don't you know that there's many Quran abrogated by a hadith? Abrogate means it's abrogated. It means it's opposing. It's cancel the Quran. So how you accept the hadith against the Quran if you are saying, if is the hadith is against the Quran, I reject it. Hypocrite. Do you accept to do muta or you accept the hadith? The Quran say muta. You can do muta. The hadith says you cannot. Which one you accept? Give me the answer. Give me the answer. Huh? Okay. Science change every time. So, okay. So according to science today, uh, uh, where my sperm is coming from tomorrow will change. What do you mean science change? How women don't have a sperm anyway. How stupid book says that women have a sperm and their sperm is coming from the backbone. What does have to do with science change every day? And we are not talking even about science. We are talking about how things work. Forget about science. Do the man have a sperm coming from his backbone? Either you say yes or no. What, what does have to do with science? It's about facts. Do women have a sperm coming from her ribs? Either you say yes or you say no. And science changed, but the fact will not. So Allah is the almighty God who created Adam, but you do not know that Adam's sperm is not coming from the backbone? How that can be? What's wrong with this Allah? وَيَخْرُجُ مِنْ بَيْنِ الصُّلْبِ وَالتَّرَائِبِ Have you ever heard of a stupid God he says such a statement? Chapter 86, verse number 7. As a Muslim, I believe the Quran is 100% correct. Okay, well, that's mean you believe it's false. So who cares for what you believe? This is wrong. Women don't have a sperm, and the sperm is not coming from the ribs of the women. And man, sperm does not come from the backbone. So you say to me, I believe the Quran is 100% correct. Okay, yeah, believe we are laughing. That's why we are laughing here. We are laughing, my friend, that there is somebody in the year 2020 believe in such a garbage so you believe that's okay thank you if you don't believe in this i will not be here actually laughing so you are my helper be my guest i thank you for the comedy i really appreciate it i mean your comedy is the best forget about the rest i mean who can make us laugh more than allah nobody hmm Nobody can make us laugh more than Allah. So when we say to you, and then you say to us, oh, I believe the Quran is the uh, true. Okay, we're going, we are laughing. This is God? Proceeding, this is Ibn Kathir, from the, between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone, or the line between two brackets, it doesn't say line, or, or of the man and the ribs of the women, which referring to her chest. <laughs> How do you know that to produce not from the backbone? Very simple. 
guys how you know that it's not from the backbone how you know that when that when you go to the doctors they will tell you let's say you go to a doctor and you tell him i have a problem uh, with my like i cannot make my wife have a child so they study how much sperm that you have maybe you have low numbers you can ask him uh, where how you learned that sperm is not coming from the backbone i heard it's coming from the backbone and he will explain to you and everybody will laugh at you then so you are trying to confirm a mistake in the quran to be true and what we know and millions actually even your muslim in your schools in your medicine school don't teach that that the sperm is coming from your bones those who graduated as doctors from Islamic universities in Islamic countries, they don't learn that the sperm is coming from the bones. And what bone? The last bone in the back, not only the bones. And no idiot in this earth will believe that women have a sperm and that the sperm is coming from the ribs. What sperm? Women have a sperm since when? How, how, how women they have a sperm? Uh, we have a caller we don't know who let us see hello hello yes hello yes you are live on air what do you like to say to us are you a muslim my friend uh, sorry. are you a muslim sorry, uh, uh, sorry, uh, i am a christian you know uh, 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 <clears throat> you know i preach in mosques okay. so uh, they, they they talked about uh, some scientific things like what okay so scientific things so can you show a verse when you said that um, that uh, how how the baby is born because they they always boast in scientific things so oh yeah you know i have to okay no problem those things actually is it is it to prove here we go this is how the baby is made you see as you can see this is, the, the, this is how the creation started from the sperm, create, claiming that the baby created from the water coming from the women, get, excuse me, gushing fluid from the women, okay. and gushing fluid from the man. And then they will quote for you this verse. And they claim that this is science. And in order to, to do that, they yeah. try, they try to, to change the translation, yes. which is stupid because they cannot do that. Here we go. Chapter 23, verse number 14, it says, and we made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Do you see it in the screen? Chapter yeah, 23. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But but according to science I, and ac yeah. according to the facts, this is absolutely false because a sperm does not become uh, congealed blood. So the first stage is yeah. the man, he put his sperm in the women and then the sperm will become a congealed blood. This is the Quran saying in front of you. So how that yes. can be science? That is a stupid. Yeah, because they 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 boast uh, they boasted about uh, some uh, some seas interacting uh, in each other. You know, I don't I don't understand. And friend, my friend, they, 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 they can't play. I, yeah. I, I saw their videos. As an example, yeah. they got a guy. His name Doctor Morse, and he said uh, that the Quran says that Allah He made the sperm and uh, 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 like the the, the the fetus as a as a alaqa, as a leech. But the fact it doesn't say as a leech it says we made it as we made it leech which meant a congealed blood and this is the translation so they lie to him about what it says there they use words is not in the quran to fool him it doesn't say like a leech it says we made it a leech and what is that leech it's a congealed blood when somebody have a cut in his skin that is the leech in Arabic. it's a dead blood and even the translation saying that so how in the world the god of islam he say look at this the first stage we have a sperm then the second stage we have a congealed blood where's the egg then then we made the congealed blood as a clot and then at the clot actually we made it as lump and then we made that lump as a bones and then that bones we close it with with the with the, with the flesh totally wrong Yes. So according to the state, according to the stages, totally absolutely it's stupid. According to the stages, the first we have a sperm, and then the sperm became a blood, and then the blood became uh, 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 became like a, a clot as dead blood, and then that that uh, dead blood will became a piece of meat, and then that piece of meat will be became a bone. So in this in this process now in this uh, stage, there's only bones. There's nothing. The baby is just bones. 
because the meat, all of it became bones. And then after that, we close the bones. That is the most stupid statement because according to according to science, which is pro 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 providing facts about this issue, that all organs of the baby, they start to be uh, recognized and exist in very early stages. The heart, the ears, the eyes, it's not what he is saying. So the Quran is obviously a stupid book. Yes, yes. You know, like, like you know, I was an ex-Muslim. Oh, okay. You know, and uh, you know, uh, you know, if you if you read the Old Testament, you see two hundred prophecies about Jesus Christ, which is have been fulfilled in the time of Jesus. Okay. You know, two hundred prophecies. Yeah. You know that he will be born in Bethlehem, he will be born of a virgin, and he will die. For our sins. Yeah. Can you can you, you tell know, me about you, why why you why you left Islam? As long as you are an ex-Muslim, why you left Islam? What happened? Yeah. Uh, actually, you know, I I read uh, I read uh, Quran. You know, uh, I watched I watched videos about the uh, David Wood mm -hmm. and uh, exposing Islam. Okay. And so you know I so you know you know it's 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 a it's a complete joke. You know that. Hmm. It's a it's a funniest book I have ever heard, you know, and so you know I I always believed in God, and so you know the Bible is if you read in Bible if you read the Old Testament, you know you can see Jesus you can you can see the prophecies about Jesus that it will come a Messiah and he will die for our sins he will be a king uh, he will he will be born of a virgin. Uh, uh, and you know so on there is 200 prophecies but you know in Quran chapter 4 you know, chapter 7 uh, verse 157 Muhammad Muhammad says that uh, Muhammad it is you know prophesied in Torah and in Jeel mm. but no one can point no no nobody can point you know no, we, we can no, no, we can find about Muhammad. Yeah, we can we can find uh, yeah, Jesus, no, no, Jesus, uh, Jesus, Jesus, uh, Jesus know, mentioned false teachers. Be aware of false teachers, right? False prophets. Yeah, yeah. So no, yes, and that's, uh, that's the that's the only prophecy, you know. That's yeah. the only prophecy in the New Testament about Muhammad. Yeah. But you know, Jesus, Jesus ha has been prophesied, you know, two, two, two uh, sorry, two hundred times, you know, in the. All, Actually, way, way, tests. way more than two hundred. But anyway, uh, you see, it's not about just anyway, a prophe right, yeah. it's not only about prophesying because I can bring a book, and this book prophesying about somebody, and I can claim that this is the body we're talking about. I can claim it's me, maybe, right? It's easy to talk, talk is cheap, mm -hmm. right? But we have the the Messiah yeah. is not a person who claim; it's a person who prove. Even yes. the Muslims believe. Yes. The Quran says that yeah. Jesus, He made the blind see. He can tell you what you hide in your houses, which means he can read yeah, actually, the unseen. He can see the unseen. Yeah. He can yeah. heal all kinds yeah. of illness, including he can raise people from death. So no, no, he, he proved himself by works. Exactly. Not by mouth. Exactly. Otherwise, I can say I'm a prophet sent by God, you know, and whatever, you know. Yeah. And then I will give you versions and you know, it's, it's stupid things. When they ask Muhammad, how come you don't have a miracle? You know, he said, well, you know, uh, uh, you know, Allah, he refrained from uh, sending miracle, refrain. So Allah have a strike now. Why you have, why you don't have a miracle? It's, he said to them in chapter 17, verse number uh, 59. And we refrain from sending signs only because the men of former generation treated them as false. But this is false. For as you see, we are Christians believing in the miracles of Jesus for the last 2000 years. So where is where this excuse is stupid, and they, even after Jesus, Jesus he gave his disciple the opportunity and the ability to 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 do miracles. He did not say, "Oh, we refrain to yes, them." you know, yes, because we have we have uh, now we have authority by Jesus Christ, you know, because he gave he gave his body, so we can be his body. You know, yeah. some some are gifted uh, of healing. Yeah, but, some are gifted of but here preaching. now, but here the question, okay, we do, yeah. Muslim cannot debate about if Jesus can do or not because they themselves, their book, agree with it. So, how how yeah. can Muhammad he say as an excuse? 
he refrained. Same time, the Muslim they say he split the moon, but if this is true, this is against the Quran, then because here it says we refrain. Uh, actually, and, the, and, and this verse, by the way, actually in Mars, this verse, in Mars they, they pull up that that uh, that uh, that uh, moon. Yeah, but uh, they, but, they but, but, but but look but look at this. <laughs> look at this. This verse, this verse was given to Muhammad after the moon split. So how Allah He says we refrain if already He did miracle. You know what I mean? Look, man, it's 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 a complete joke. It's it, a complete joke. You know? Exactly. Actually, if 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 the actually moon was split, why then uh, other nations have been recorded? There's a there's a guy his that, name is his, there's a girl her name is, is Fifi she said because it was only for a few seconds hello <laughs> <laughs> it was only for a few seconds so the miracle happened for a few seconds nobody saw it except Muhammad anyway yeah for <laughs> yeah um, so anyway thank you my friend for calling and take care yeah thank you so much hey, hey God bless you brother you know you are doing good work man thank you thank, thank you man you. thank you take care. Thank God you. bless you. God bless you too. All right. By the way, yesterday I made a miracle. I not only split the moon, I make it four pieces. A Christian prince, so we were looking at the moon yesterday, nothing happened. Oh, hey, come on, it happened just for a few seconds. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, it happened, but uh, because it was so fast, like I cut it and I put it together. Don't you see the magician? The magician he played with cards like he, he changed him and but he did you don't see how he, he did it because he did it so fast i did it as a musician hmm. yeah i suggest you to watch zachar naik trust me zachar naik is my best joke bring him bring the scientific miracle of the quran you eat it you are the one who just said to me you accept that the women have a sperm coming from her ribs and you are telling me watch zachar naik <laughs> yeah actually in the other day I split a watermelon unbelievable how I did it if you see it it's an amazing miracle and then Muhammad he prophesied okay what he prophesied he prophesied that the moon split and judgment day is near actually he didn't say near it's in the corner but this was 1400 years ago. Muhammad, he looked at the kid and he said to him, they asked him when the hour is going to be, when the judgment day will be. <laughs> and now Muhammad is practicing his skills as a prophet. Huh? So they said to him, when the hour will be. And the Muslim, they try to fabricate. They say, like, you know, he was saying, you will see you dying. Well, stupid lie. Read carefully the stupidity of Muhammad. Read carefully. This is a prophecy which is authentic in the books of the Abdul. And it's reported. And what is the name of the, uh, the name of the title in the book? The book of interpolation and the portents of the last hour so this is the topic it's about the last hour and as reported a person asked Allah messenger as when the last hour would come he had in his presence a young boy of Al Ansar Ansar are a group of people who join Muhammad they are the one who used to worship uh, 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 the two statues exist of Naila uh, as Safa and Marwa. This is why Muhammad he agreed to worship As Safa and Marwa too. So he said, he who, who was called uh, Muhammad, Muhammad he said, if this young boy lives, he may not grow old, very old, till you would see the last hour coming to you. Do you see it? And this was 1400 years ago. Any Muslim? This is a prophecy, this is authentic. This boy will not grow old before the last hour will come to you. 
Somebody saying that the Quran speak about the speed of light. You see, I, I find that those things are really uh, funny. Chapter 32, verse number 5, speak about the speed of light. My friend, this is about the speed of stupidity. Because if you go there and read it, we can use the same exact phrase to prove Islam as a stupid. Let us, let us do this. Who is a Muslim willing to call me and tell me about the speed of light? In the Quran. Any Muslim? Any Muslim? How this is can be about the speed of light? Let us study together. Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven of Allah using a mule, an animal called al buraq The angels themselves are made of light. It took Muhammad and the angels to arrive there less than three hours. The verse here saying, it take the angels to go up to heaven 1,000 years of our time. Do you see the stupidity? So how it took the angels 1,000 years to go to heaven just one way, which means round the trip, if Jibreel, he went up to heaven, it's going to take him 1,000 years to go, 1,000 years to come back. How then Muhammad, he was able to go all the way to the seven one, not the fifth, not only the, the last one heaven where Allah, he lived in a few hours and come back. And not only that, in his way, he stopped in Jerusalem. And not only that, he tied the donkey, the limousine in the wall of the temple. And not only that, after he finished with Jerusalem, he went back to, 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 uh, uh, to his house. And not only that, until now, nobody wake up in Mecca. So all of this happened in eight hours. Any Muslim can explain to us how the angels take them 1,000 years to go to heaven of our timing, yet Muhammad was able to go with Jibreel. Remember, Jibreel is there in a few hours and come back. Any Abdul? Secondly, this verse exposes all the lies of Muhammad about receiving Quran. Muhammad, he fight with his wife. Quran come after five minutes. Well, if the angels, they need to go up to heaven to bring the Quran, well, the Quran says it take them 1,000 years to go up and 1,000 years to come back. So if Muhammad received the first verse 1,400 years ago, the second verse should come 2,000 years after. Any Muslim have anything to say? Number three, the speed of light. The speed of light. Okay, let's go by this. Allah himself is light, according to the Quran. Is it? Hmm? Let us laugh together. Oh boy. Chapter 24, verse number 35, it says, Allah is the light of the heaven and the earth. And not only that, Allah described himself as a burning star, which means literally he is a light uh, from a fuel. How Allah and how long it take Allah, who is a light, to come down to earth, if they are talking about the speed of the, the light, right? Allah himself is a light. So, the speed of light explained in the in the stories of Muhammad as the following.
Let us find the Fahri. This one cannot be found here. We will find the other one. All right. Our Lord the Blessed, He descend every night in the lowest to the lowest heaven when one third uh, part of the night. Okay. It take the light 1,000 years to travel and Allah himself is a light. But Allah, he come down every third part of the night to the lowest heaven asking who is invoking me. And here we will find many things is, you know, exposing Islam. Allah himself is inside his creation. The Muslim they reject Jesus to be God for he is God inside the creation, inside the flesh. Here we go, Allah is going inside his creation and he come down every night. And here you ask yourself, what night we are talking about? Because the earth have many time, uh, zoom, and then if we say Allah, he come down every third part of the night, that means Allah never go up. Because there's always third part of the night somewhere. So the movement of the earth here explained that the earth is not moving. The earth is a flat and Allah is up in heaven and he come every third part of the night because there is only one third part of the night according to Muhammad. Right? Any Muslim have anything to say? Uh, here we have Adnan is saying the following. That's a good one, Adnan. I like you, my friend. I should make you an admin. Guys, look what Adnan he said. The Quran speak that there are things smaller than atom. My friend, you are the one who put the word between two brackets, dharra. Dharra is an ant. <laughs> what does this have to do with atom? That's your first translation. The word dharra is an ant. Small, tiny ant. And this is how we expose the lies. The fabrication, I mean, the fabrication is amazing. Atom, huh? Let us see how we will make everybody laugh in a second. Let me show you, Abdul. In Allah la yadulum mithqala dharra. The weight of an ant. The weight of an ant. The translation here don't show that. Let us go. Shall we go to the interpretation, guys? Shall we go to the interpretation? Is that okay? Muslim, do you allow me to go to the interpretation made by your scholars who speak Arabic very well? Can we do that? If we go there, we will see that it's an ant. Suddenly, the ant became electronic, became nuclear. I mean, it's an ant. Chapter 4, verse number 40. Let us go. Ibn Kathir. I don't know what's written there, by the way, but we will see. For I'm sure what I'm talking about, it's about an ant. Huh? And we will show you the verses you quote for us, not only this one, just wait. Where is the verse? Where is the verse? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> okay, we have to go to 40. Let us save our time. Are you there, uh, Mr. Uh, Shire? Okay. Here we go. And, you know, Dharra uh, can be used even for sands, by the way, like the Ratul Naml, the Ratul Raml. But Dharra uh, uh, is about small, tiny ant. Do you see what it says? And let me show you more interpretation. Actually, let me open the verse you, you, you quote for me so we can laugh together about the same verse. I'm just giving you ex other examples in the Quran about the same word used and how it's used. Uh, let us see. 
what what verse he quote for us what verse he quote for us to show because there's many verses speaking about uh, the darra which one he choose i forgot which one he choose let me go back hold on and i will show everybody how you muslims fabricate stories out of nothing where is his text about the end about the, the atom uh, he chose 440 he chose 440 okay so he chose 440 okay i thought i, I chose the, the one who did not he choose all right let us go shall we let us go there bingo four forty Are you there, Abdul? I want you to read with me. In the Muslim translation here, it says the weight of an atom. Do you see it? Okay. But this is false. This is added in the translation. Look what it says. The weight of the smallest end. Do you see it? People, do you see it? The weight of a smallest ant. Allah talking about an ant. Change the translator, the interpretation. Maybe this one is bad. This, this guy is wrong. You know, maybe he's stupid. Huh? Lo, wrong, not even the weight of an ant. Do you see it, Abdul? So how the ant became a nuclear? How the ant became a nuclear, from an ant to nuclear, atom, electronic, electron. It's an ant. So in the lies of those Muhammadan, we have to believe so we can believe in Allah. They have to create a lie. Look at this. It says here, he will not leave the uh, of the work of the unbeliever even the weight of an ant to the benefit to benefit him do you see it he said okay i get it i get it. chapter 43 verse number 10 61 no problem 61 let us go to uh 10 61 this is 10 i mean what we have here let us have fun 10 61 let us go to 61 who care let us see let us see the nuclear facility <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, here he did not mention the word ant, but even though it's mentioning the word ant there, but you see anyone see the nuclear, etc. It's about ant. That even the small weight of an ant, you see here between two brackets, this is the translator, always translation in English. They try to hide the truth from you. I'm sure if I go in Arabic, I will find different translation. But it's an end. And we can go right now to the dictionary. In the language today, the word dharra in Arabic used for a nuclear. But this is today in this language today, not in the time of Muhammad. Dharra is either for a very small end or for a small piece of sand. And we can even go and search in the hadith. Hmm? Even even the, the companion of the Prophet, supposed to his name Abu Dhar. <laughs> okay. Uh, let us see if we can find something here. See, the, the website here is very bad. You search for the word Dharra, they show you Abu Dhar, the, the, the name of the of Muhammad friend. 
which we are not looking for this now. Uh, Actually, let us, let us search for the word about killing the babies of the infidels, and they call them the Rari. Hmm? You see it? The little ones. The Ra is about the little ones. We ask the Messenger of Allah about slaughtering the children of the uh, Mushrikeen, the enemy of Islam. He says, kill them, they are one of them. What is the word they are used? Is the Ra. All right, and if you go to dictionary, you will see that dictionary says the same. So if we go, let us go, let us go in front of you. Let me open dictionary. Give me a second. I can go right now to the Islamic dictionary and search for what the word Dara mean. Remember, the word Dara today is used for nuclear in Arabic, but this is today, not in the time of Muhammad. In the time of Muhammad, it was either for a, a sand or an ant, but usually it's for ant. Let us see. Give me a second. Okay. This is the dictionary, and they are giving you all the options. In the time of Muhammad, there's nothing. It's called, uh, this is the language. It was used for ant, as you see. A small ant, a kind of ant. All right? Today, is used to in Arabic if you go in the Middle East and you say the word Dara, they speak about nuclear so this is about today but in the Quran the Quran is speaking the language of people how they use it it's an ant so he's saying to them even if it's a weight of an ant Allah will go after it so suddenly the ant became uh, you know, a nuclear. Do you have different game to play with? Any Mohammedan? Anything else? I have a, I have oh I have a whole book actually both my books deception of Allah and Quran and science they not only debunk we show you that this is not only stupid it's it's dummy the Quran is the book of dummies the Muslim they even say Muhammad discovered satellite that he used the word atbaq and the funny that hadith by the way is mawdu'ah not only da'if it's not da'if it's rejected. The Muslim, they call it for us to prove something. And then we find that the word atbaq means that the stranger are, which means at the, at the end of the day, instead of being friend to your family and your tribe, you will be friend with the strangers. This is what atbaq means. They say this about dish. <laughs> Where is Dr. Rohi from Azhar University? You can find him in Palto. Go and talk to him. Bring him to us. Tell him to call me. This guy, he go and pelt up always. He have a chat room. What about you? Who is a Muslim here? He is a doctor. He want to call us. Aren't you a doctor too? All of you Muslims are doctors and engineers. Uh, my friend, Dali. The Quran never used the word lions. That is a fabrication. In Arabic, it says solb. Do you know what solb means? Solb is a hard bones. So don't tell me the Arab understood. Don't tell me the word understood. Solb is a is a backbone. Is the tailbone. The Muslim, they are the word lions just to add it there, but it's not there. All right? This is the word soul, and this is the dictionary. It's about something, something strong, something, it's a body, it have a thickness, 
it have a strength, it is hard. This word asolb, and solb usually, the second you say the word asolb, you mean the last bone in the chain of your back, literally. Which translation I changed? I did not change the translation. I did not. I just showed you that the word dharra mean ant. Guys, did I say? Here we go. This is the word dharra. I will put it again in the screen. Everybody will laugh. Here we go. Today even can be used for corn, but the original meaning is an ant. Small ant, a kind of ant. Do you see it? Today, in the, in the Muslims, they use, when they speak about nuclear, they say the word dharra, but this is not how it is in the Quran. Read the Hadith and the Lens Arabic Dictionary. My friend, I do not need your dictionary. Don't, don't, don't show me your stupidity. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Do you believe in Ibn Kathir or you don't? Is Ibn Kathir he knew Arabic or he don't? No Arabic. People, do Ibn Kathir know Arabic or no? He knew Arabic. Okay, let's go to see what Ibn Kathir. He is, he is their scholar, not mine. So don't tell me go and read dictionary. We did. We just showed you dictionary. It is the backbone of the spine. And you will notice here in the translation, look what the Muslim they do. The Muslim themselves, they are adding words between two brackets. Why? Because it is not in the text. Read carefully with me. خُلِقَ مِنْ مَاءٍ Meaning, sexual fluid that come brust, br brusting forth from the men and the women. Okay, where it's coming from? Let us see. Coming between the backbone of the man and the ribs. Do you see it? So, the backbone. Meaning, the backbone between the bracket. This is not in the Arabic text. This is why it's between two brackets. This is a, fa a false fiction of the translator trying to save the ass of Islam. Do you see it? So this is Ibn Kathir who speak Arabic very well. Look like he do not know what is written in dictionary, your dictionary. And here we have a two stupid mistake. Women have a sperm coming from their ribs and men have a sperm coming from the backbone, which means both of them are coming from bones. The bones of the women in her ribs and the backbone of the man in the spine. And then you say to me, go and read the dictionary. Well, this is the dictionary. Proceeding between the backbone and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Oh, you give me a theory, you don't speak with Arabic. Right? And look, we have a guy saying CP is a liar. I'm showing them what is written in their books. They say you say he's a liar. Isn't it? This is Ibn Kathir, and he is the one saying that. You see, when they go, when we show them the, the, the proofs, they go panic. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. Look, see, as much as you can, as he's a liar. But the one in the front of you is Ibn Kathir. So I advise you to say Ibn Kathir is the liar. And not only that, we can change it. Shall we go to different scholars? I challenge any Muslim to quote for me a scholar he agree with. And we are talking about the, the authentic scholars, the big one well known. Not one who's making an article today. And I will open it and we will read together and I will get you busted. Any challenge? Who want to challenge me? Huh? Who want to challenge me? You choose the interpretation of scholars, we have Al Qurtubi, we have Jalalain, we have uh, 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 Ibn Kathir, we have Ibn Abbas, we have what, what do you want? Choose one and we go, and you will see you will be humiliated. Right? Is that me saying what you see in the screen, or this is Ibn Kathir? So the guy who says to me, open dictionary. What dictionary? A solb mean only a solb. It's solb. If I right now go and type the word solb in Google in Arabic, we will find everything about something hard. 
As an example, al hadid al sulb the hard iron, which means the, st the, the, the steel. Any Abdul? Where is the lions? Where is the lions? This is about... Uh, secondly, here, this stupidity is amazing. The Quran is claiming that a human being is created by a sexual fluid come from the women and the man. But the women, she don't provide sexual fluid in order to have a baby. The women, she have an egg. The sexual fluid have nothing to do with the baby coming from the women. If we go right now and see the hadith, because Muhammad, he will help us to get you busted. Right? 86 Abbas, Tanweer al Maqbas, that issued from between the lions. Okay, I will go to Abbas. Hold on, guys. This guy, he says to me, show us Ibn Abbas. Okay, I will go to Ibn Abbas. Give me a second. Yeah. But don't feel sorry. I will show you Ibn Abbas in English. I will show you Ibn Abbas in Arabic and you will cry. Be ready. Let us go to Ibn Abbas. This is a Jalalain. Hold on. You see, this is a translation. This is Ibn Abbas. All right. This is in the translation. It says the loins of the man and the ribs of the women. Right? Okay. Let us go and see Ibn Abbas in Arabic. Let us find it in an easier way. Hold on. I will show you all Islamic translation in one page. I mean, uh, interpretation. Read and love. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. We show it already, so there is no need to show it again. It says it clearly, the backbone, and there's no lines. This is Ajala Lain. He says, a taraib is the location of the necklace of the women. <laughs> and then he continued saying, and Ibn Abbas, he said, it comes from between the sulb and the taraib, he means from between the breast of the women. Read carefully. Reference 28588. Let's continue. And, and Ikrama was asked, about where it's coming from, he said Taraib and he put his hand on his chest between his two breasts. Uh, hey, hold on, we will show you Ibn Abbas and we will die laughing. Okay. Qala Sulbur Rajul. Sulbur Rajul wa Taraib al Mura. Qala at Taraib. الصدر وهذا هو الصلب the chest and this is what sold okay and then let us continue let us say see uh, <coughs> you know what let us do this because until now I don't see Ibn Abbas this is Al Qurtubi The location of the necklace. All of them they agree that this is the location of necklace where women they have their sperm. But we want to see the word solb. You see, they're just repeating the word solb without explaining what the solb is. Let us do this. Let us go and Search for Ibn Abbas. 
the one you choose and by the way as long you accept Ibn Abbas then you have to accept Ibn Abbas don't later tell me I don't accept Ibn Abbas he's a fool right people will laugh at you uh, Let us see. I'm just trying to find Tafsir Ibn Abbas in Arabic. Maybe we need to type Tanwir Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas. Maybe that will help to find it. Hold on. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Ibn Kathir again, Tanwir al Maqbas, Fit of Siri, Ibn Abbas. Here we go, we found it. All right. What is the guy who said to me, read the Fsir al Maqbas? Where is the guy who said to me, read it? Do you like to call me live on air right now? I challenge you to call me and show me the word lions in there. It's in the front of everybody. This is the Arabic. This is Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Page number 508. I want you to call me and show me the word which I don't see. We see it in English, but we don't see it in Arabic. Can you call me right now and show me where we can find it? Mayday, Mayday. Can you call me and show me in Arabic where the word lions appear in Ibn Abbas in Arabic? If you are afraid to call me, feel free to tell me which line and I will count the lines like line number one. Line number two, line number three, etc. Which lines you want me to translate? And we will use Google Translation. Are you there, Mr. Dilly? Where in Ibn Abbas it says what it says in English? Obviously, this is a fabrication. He never used any word except a sulb. يخرج من بين الصلب صلب الرجل والترائب ترائب المرأة. Remember, you are the one who says to me, read Ibn Abbas. And we are here in Ibn Abbas. And you know, the, I find it very funny that you accept Ibn Abbas when you want, but you don't accept Ibn Abbas when you want. Because Ibn Abbas saying that they're coming from the, the breast of the women, the ribs of the women. So do you accept Ibn Abbas or not? Do you accept Ibn Abbas or not? Are you there, Mr. Dilly? I want you to say, I accept Ibn Abbas. Say it, be a man. Because why you are asking me to go to Ibn Abbas, but you don't want Ibn Abbas? Is that a game of hypocrisy or, you know, we are, uh, we are mature a daughter we are a bunch of kids are you there are you searching Google now do you want me to give you the link to take your time like maybe a thousand years to study it and then you come back to me to get me busted So what we notice here, that Islamic translation in English has nothing to do with the Arabic books. Do you notice? Total hypocrisy and lying. Where is the word that says the Lord lying in Arabic? I want to see it. 
No word says that. The first translate, translator, this is translation, he changed the word solib and he put the word lions in there. The word lions in Arabic have a, have a word. There's a word for it. Any Muhammadan? And as long you are a person who like Ibn Abbas, what about to read for you from Ibn Abbas some stuff? Because Ibn Abbas, he get Muhammad busted with no mercy. What do you say? Do you like Ibn Abbas or you don't like Ibn Abbas? In two seconds you will say to me, Ibn Abbas is a joke. In two seconds you will say to me, oh, don't read Ibn Abbas, he's an idiot. Huh? Ibn Abbas. Chapter 50, verse number one, Ibn Abbas. The book you choose. See, I'm showing you the books of your choice. And from his narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, he said, the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf. He said, Qaf is an azure mountain overlooking this world. And the color from the sky, of the sky, takes from it. Do you see it? It's Ibn Abbas. Now what you will say? You will say, oh, Ibn Abbas is an idiot. I don't Ibn Abbas, forget it. Okay, give me different idiot. Give me a different idiot. Forget about Ibn Abbas. So look how the verse is so clear, proving that Allah is a fraud. Claiming that sperm coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Let us say for the sake of argument, Allah, he used the word testicles. He did not use the backbone. Now, for the sake of argument, what we would do with the ribs of the woman? Huh? Shall we throw it away? <laughs> Hello? And Muhammad, he explained to us too. The problem that Muhammad is a person, he cannot keep his mouth shut. This guy, he likes to do poo poo 24 hours, 7 days a week. So Muhammad, he explained it to us. And look what he said. The message of Allah said, the water of the man is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child will resemble the parents. Obviously, Muhammad don't speak good Arabic, and Muhammad do not know what he's talking about, right? And Muhammad is missed quoting the Quran. According to Muhammad, there's a sexual fluid gushing forth, and that what will make the baby look like the father or the mother, which means male or female. And which one of them comes first, the baby will look like the parents. This is science of stupidity. If we continue, we will find here what Muhammad meant by the water of the woman. Where, where is that water located? Is that a water inside her body? Or it's a water come out in her private part? Read carefully. And now you will say to me, read Ibn Abbas, right? This is Muhammad himself, the one who hired Ibn Abbas. Um Salim, she asked Mashir of Allah about women, sees a, her dream, something like, which men sees, Muslim women, they always do masturbate. Very fun, good, you know. This is why there's hadith is about sex toys is halal. The Messenger of Allah said, if she sees that and has this charge, this charge, she see it by her eyes. So where this charge will be located and she can see in her eyes. Are you there, Mr. Dili? Let me guess. Is that if that is inside her breast or it is outside her private part? And now she has to take a bath. Obviously, it's her private part. Muhammad is claiming that the water comes from the womb, which is coming from the private part, which is thin yellow. That is the sperm of the women make the baby look like the mother. Read carefully. He said, if she see she has a discharge, then let her perform a bath. Um Salama, the wife of Muhammad, who never have, have, have orgasm, and this is a proof, a proof in the story, because she wondered, can the women have orgasm? The women really have this charge? She was asking. The Messenger of Allah says, she said to him, does that really happen? Which means women have this charge? Orgasm? He said, yes. The water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the woman is thin and yellow. Which of, of them comes first? The baby will look like the parents. Do you see it? It's a water. And this is what the Quran is speaking about in chapter 86, verse number 7, 6 and 7. Ma in dafiq, gushing forth fluid. 
in Arabic it's called as you water ma but it's a sexual water and Muhammad explained to you the water of the man and the water of the woman the water of the man and even he used the word water do you see it about what about orgasm the water of the women is thin and yellow are you there Mr. Uh, uh, Dilly? Any Muslim have a comment? And always the Muslims, in order to make a point, they lie. As an example, look at this guy, he's saying that we worship three gods. Show me one verse in the Bible that says we worship three gods. Either you are a liar or you are a liar. Is that fair, guys? I challenge you to show me one verse in the Bible. It says that we Christians worship three gods. None. The whole Bible is speaking about one God. So you are a liar like your prophet. The fact, it's you Muslims who worship more than one God. The Quran is not a created. Allah is not a created. And you pray for Muhammad and your prayer will be placed in the front of Muhammad. So he's your God. When a Muslim he pray, the prayer of the Muslims will go to who? To Allah or to Muhammad? No, to Muhammad. Read carefully. Is that a Sahih Hadith? Absolutely, it's Sahih Hadith. All of those Hadith, look at this, look at this, look at this garbage. Huh? Muhammad claimed that when you die, all your prayer will go to him. Now, this one is Da'if, the Muslim, but we showed you, by the way, but let show you the Sahih one, so they will not say, I'm lying. You see, it says Sahih, okay? Among the most excellent of your days is a Friday. So invoke, and here the word blessing does not exist. It says salah, pray on me, not a blessing. On that day, for your prayer, not a blessing, will submit it to me. See how they lie? It says in Arabic, فَإِنَّ صَلَاتَكُمْ Pray. People cannot bless you, my friend. The one who can bless you only is God. How the, how the people, they can bless you? You see, when your mother, she says, bless you, she is saying, may God bless you. A human being cannot bless a human being. So when I say to my father, bless me, my father, that's mean I'm asking my father to ask God to give me blessing. Right? read the Arabic dictionary my friend you see I don't know who is a stupid here you asked me to read uh, Ibn Abbas we show it to you uh, uh, you, you asked me to say uh, uh, alliance this is in the language today in the dictionary today as an example if I say fulan min sulbi fulan he is from the bloodline of etc in the science today people they knew that when you say sulb you are talking about he is coming from his sperm but according to science today the word sulb is not okay what is the word testicles is it the word soul i will go to arabic dictionary and you know the funny is i mean we just showed you the stupidity of your prophet that he's saying that women have a sperm coming from their ribs and now he's just stuck with the with the word soul that's it don't talk about other one let us say for the sake of argument you are a smart person the first part of the verse is as you say it is testicles what about the second part where the women have a sperm coming from her ribs? Forget about it, right? So Allah was half smart, half stupid. But I will go to the dictionary and everybody will laugh at you. All right. Let us go to the dictionary. This is your Arabic Islamic dictionary. As Sulb, Aslab, Mazdar, the source is As Sulb. Let me highlight. As Sulb, As Shadid, the strong. The strong. That's what Sulb means. And then he gives you all the use of the word Sulb. So when you say he's coming from the soul, he's coming from something very hard, very tough. You cannot break. Do you see it? You asked me to go to dictionary, right? 
This is the Arabic Islamic dictionary. The rest here is like the word salib, which is like cross, you know. But even the salib is a shadid al qawi. Do you see it? So what do you say? Read carefully. This is dictionary. You are the one who asked me dictionary, right? As solib jamu aslab wa silba. As solib as shadid al qawi, the very strong, very hard. As solbu min al ard as shadid al jamid. The solb from the from the earth is the very tough hard. A solb kulla madda yath bo chakluha wa hajmuha. Every uh, uh, everything have fixed shape and size. A solb is a piece of iron. Read it. Are you there? The Arab thought the women wombs was near the ribs. In the backbone you know Dili, you are stupid you, you, you are not welcome in my page because you say to me the arab they thought and the one is talking is allah are you a donkey i mean I'm, I'm wasting my time talking to you we said to you the one who said that is allah you say the arab thought so allah he adopt what the arab they say and they believe in what allah says and now we blame the arab for thinking that it is the, the, the women have a sperm i just showed you what muhammad said get lost i mean stupidity is amazing the Arab they thought, the Arab, but the one is talking is Allah, you donkey. And if I now use Google Translation to translate the dictionary, you choose for me. Let me give you the link of the translation. I need to shorten the website because there is Arabic search word. We'll make it very long in Google, we'll not let it go. Aren't you the one who asked me to read dictionary? I mean, it's amazing. The Arab, they thought the Arab, but the one is saying that is Allah. So Allah was a stupid. If the Arab, they thought, how Allah adopt what the Arab thought if it's wrong? I have no time for stupid kids, my friend. Get lost. This is the link. I will shorten it and I will post it in, in, the, in YouTube. Go right away and it, it translate the whole thing, the whole page. Everybody will laugh at you. Here we go. I'm shorting the link so it can pass. And now we copy and now we paste. The Arab thought, but the Arab thought. Okay, the Arab, if the Arab are stupid, Allah is stupid too. If the Arab they thought that the sperm coming from your ear, should Allah follow them and say, hey, okay, it's their ear? A taraib is the location of the necklace of the bones of the women. As simple as that. And you are the one who asked me to call me Abbas. Ibn Abbas, he said, this is the location of the necklace. So in order to save the ass of their God, they say the Arab believe in that. So why Allah saying that too? He was an Arab, isn't he? This is why he, he believe in that. Hmm? If we translate this into English, what we will see? Go ahead, try uh, translate. Ah, it did not. This website does not allow to open translation here. Hold on, give me a second. We need to open it in Google browser. Mm hmm. <clears throat> the Arab believe, brother, the Arab, it's the fault of the Arab. A second ago, the Arab, they are the one who explained to us, Ibn Abbas was an Arab, isn't he? And Muhammad, he hired him to be the person who explained the Quran. Now, Ibn Abbas, you don't like him. So, if we choose the translation, if we translate, what it says there about the word as -Solb. 
all of them they are repeating the same thing and they are giving you all the options of the words like salaba salab salb etc there's the word salib which means cross uh, but at the end of the day we will find all of them they come with the same thing something very tough very hard something solid let me translate to english all right this is what the word salb steel solid hard do you see it hard strong solid steel stick very hard solid this is what solid mean and your testicles are not hard my friend they are not made from rocks Do you see it? When the earth is extreme rigid, we call it solid. The strong and the, the, the strong, or the Google translation is stupid, strong and the hard. Uh, uh, the substance which is fixed in the form, in the shape, in the size, it's not the same as liquid. Do you see it? Your testicle is made from liquid. It's a flesh. Steel, iron, carbon, Stupidity is amazing. Stupidity is amazing. They try to defend, you know, in a hilarious way. And this is your Arabic Islamic translation. Now, do you want the Arabic dictionary or you don't? Do you agree with it or not? Oh, you don't agree now. Because it's against what, what, what you're trying to prove to me. All right? Any Muslim have anything to say? Yeah, this is why actually I made a, a song. It's called Backbone, Backbone. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, Backbone. Backbone? The child coming from the backbone? The word solb means rigid, hard, tough, fixed, like rocks. It's not about a flesh. Where is God in relation to you now? Well, this is a different topic. And what does this have to do with our topic now? So you left everything we are talking about to speak about where God in relation to me now? The Lord, the Messiah, he says, when you pray, go to your closet and pray to your father. This is how the relation between me and God. We are not hypocrite who speak about how good we are, how much we pray, how much we worship, how much we donate. This is the business of hypocrisy. This is why Muhammad been warned about in the Bible. He says, Jesus, he said, don't be the same as those who pray in the corners, for they are hypocrites. So you are asking me now to be in the corner and I will try, uh, start bragging about me, the good guy. What does that have to do with my topic? You want to know what my relationship to God? Well, I'm doing it right now. I'm fighting a cult so people will see the truth and believe in God. If you don't see that relation, how strong it is, then you are blind. Thank you. Don't ask those private questions or uh, because those are not really to be asked for a person. I don't like them. The Bible speak says that you cannot hide anything from the Father. So somebody can tell you, I have a great relationship with God. I, okay, from their fruits, you shall know them. There's no need to talk about it. You know what I mean? Those who have a strong relationship with God are the one who give their time to the to the Lord. 
not the one who spend their day eating a zucchini and the sushi and 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 and, not, and go into restaurant or bars or here we go i'm spending all my day all my life doing what i'm doing relationship to god is not a statement you say it's an act you do not everyone says to me lord lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will what his will to believe in the messiah i'm quoting the bible by the way to believe in the messiah and obey his command this is the bible quotation to believe in the messiah and obey his command and if you believe in the messiah he says to us go and teach and preach Are you a Coptic Christian? I am not. Coptic means Egyptian Christian, not only a name of a church. Coptic present an ethnic group, the real Egyptian. I am not an Egyptian. Secondly, who care what I am? We just told you from their fruit you shall know them. Don't ask about their color. Don't ask about their ethnic. Don't ask about anything. The fruits, my friend. There's many people, they call themselves Christians, but they have nothing to do with Christianity. Actually, they might be the enemy of Christ. Because holding the name of a Christian, but you don't act like one, will make advertising against Christianity. For this guy, supposedly, he's a Christian. Uh, Siniti Fadaku. Where is Dr. Rohi from? Uh, you know, uh, when you scream like this, it sounds like you're farting. I imagine what's happening down there when you make it. The, Where is Dr. Roy from his university? <laughs> he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. This is why you are a follower of Muhammad. He is in Palto. Go and find him and bring him back to me. Where is Dr. Roy from his university? We brought him here. We got him busted. And all of you now are sorry. The same reaction they do when I debated the head of the Islamic Shia in Michigan. You remember Al Husseini? If you go and see the comment, they will say, This guy is paid by a Christian prince. This guy is very well known. You go on CNN, you go on Fox News, you have many interviews. This guy is paid by me. Why? Because Islam looks stupid when he debated me. And this is exactly what Dr. Rohi. What about Sheikh Abdul Wadud? Joke Abdul Wadud, you are asking too many questions, brother. I advise you to come to me and uh, ask me questions face to face in the mosque of uh, New York, Astoria. All the ones I debate them, they are fake. Hmm. Any Abdul? None of them is a match for me. This is why all of them, okay, forget about those guys. What about you debate me? Where is uh, Fifi? I want to, I challenge Christian Prince if you accept the debate me face to face. Everybody knows that I don't do that. So you are asking for no debate, obviously. Mimi Hijab, he said, which one of those names you like me to debate? People, they said to him, Christian Prince, Christian Prince, a lot of Muslims live in Islam because of him. And then what he did, it was a, it's a, it was a show of mockery. Did you say that? Hang up on him, mute him, mute him. Bastard, mute him. Coward, where's the debate? He knew him is no match. If you have a debate, he will be destroyed. And even with him, mute him, and I did not even speak for three minutes, he was humiliated. How you are saying to the woman, eh, suckle me? And later we played a video, the original video. It was his sister speaking very filthy language, attacking Jesus, saying that Jesus was playing with his mother in a sexual way. He cut the video. And now everybody disrespect him. He is the video editor. He even edited the videos of Muslims who he considered them their master, like Yasser Qadi. This is why now he earned the name, new name. Mimi Hijab, you know, or the video editor previously known as Mimi Hijab. All of you are the same. You don't dare to debate me. Where are they? The one, uh, Zakir Naik, he says, bring to me 2,000 people to debate you. Bring with me 2,000 people. What they would do there? What does this have to do with me debating you? What 2,000 or one person have to do with this?
right? They will be so happy to debate you as long as you do not know. The second they knew that they are no match, they will make all kinds of excuses in the world. Not a single one of them will debate me unless I debate face to face. Because they knew Christian Prince, you go, don't go face to face. Aren't you paid by Zionist? Okay, hold on. Can I ask you who is the Zionist? STR? Secondly, where where you see the, the payment coming? Did you see the payment? But let me ask you, what is Zionist mean for you as a Mohammedan? Can you tell me? When you say Zionist, what does that mean? Do you know what you are saying? What Zionist mean? What Zionist mean? Hello? Or you are a person who use a word you do not know the meaning of it. What does Zionist mean? Here is a great example of the ignorance of those people who follow Muhammad. Your God, Allah, is a Zionist. Isn't it your God in the Quran? He said that the Holy Land is assigned to the Jews. This is a statement of a Zionist. Zionist is people who believe that this is a land assigned only to us. Your God, Allah, is a member of the Zionist organization. Chapter 5, verse number 21. Read it. O my people, enter the holy land which Allah has assigned into you. Is that a statement made by your God or by a Zionist? Are you there? Any Muslim can explain to us why Allah is sponsoring the Zionist? Oh, okay, you were joking. Guys, be careful. I mean, don't, don't go there. We don't want to be like who is a Muslim who is not. If you keep, you know, if you do that joking, how I will know who is a Muslim who is a Christian? We talk about this already, my friend. You are late. You are coming at the end of the video. You know, we spoke about Allah cannot be the creator of Adam. First, he do not know how he create him. Secondly, the the heaven of Islam does not match with the heaven of Adam. For simply, even God in the beginning created Adam and Eve. He did not create for him 70,000 Eve. So why, if we have the same God, why we not have the same heaven? Adam was not happy when he was in heaven with Eve. He wanted more women. Is that the problem? Why Allah, he did reward us with reward different from the reward of Adam and Eve. Every author have a signature of his book. And obviously the one who created Adam have nothing to do with the one who created the story of the 70 versions. Right? What kind of God he promised me in this private part? What happened to this God? How he became filthy? Why, why even he is interested in the size of my private part? And then in the top of that, he made the women private part fit for that. What kind of interest is that? Right? Any Muhammadan? Why this God is interested? You know, uh, uh, by the way, uh, a Muslim, he sent us uh, uh, somebody, one of you sent me that the Muslim says that Christian Prince is quoting for you a Da'if Hadith. About what? About Allah, he promised you that you will have an, an, a very strong uh, penis. They say this is Da'if. So what if it's Da'if? Da'if is accepted. Who said that Da'if is rejected? Da'if, it means it pass. So the Muslim, anything you show him, showing the stupidity of his prophet. Okay, does the Quran says he will give you versions? Is that da'if too? 
Did your prophet say it? You will be doing dahman dahman, which means you will push so hard when you have sex. Is that da'if too? Everything is da'if. But because this is very embarrassing, they say it's da'if, but da'if is accepted. Who said da'if is rejected? Who told you that? And I like the collection, so I translate it. And, that, and to be trustworthy, I, all the hadiths that you put in, I put in there, and some of them were weak. But there, there's there's an attack on weak hadiths in our time. Weak, weak, a weak hadith is is anywhere from a B minus to a D minus. All right, a Hassan hadith is is a B to an A minus, and then a Sahih hadith. I'm just using so a language you can understand. An A minus. Is like a a, 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 a a sahih hadith is from an A to an A plus to 100 percent. Mutawatir is 100 percent. Al Bukhari is like 98 percent, 99 percent. Muslim and Bukhari 99 percent. Uh, sahih Muslim 97 percent. So the the uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. It passed. It passed. Did you hear it? This is your shake. Obviously, he's a fake too. He's a fake. He's not a shake. He's a liar. It passed. So the story of the weak, and not only that, in the end of the, the, the video, he says weak hadith is a weak argument. He said that, so the, so the argument of weak hadith is a weak argument. <laughs> anything you say to them they will say to you it's weak it's Quran it's weak isn't it the Quran he promised you women they never bleeded from their private part or it's weak why the God is speaking about women what is inside their private part is it the Quran speaking about the size of women breast it's weak but this is Quran doesn't matter, it's weak. Huh? Is that your God in the Quran speaking about the big boobs? This is Quran. Chapter 78, verse number 33. What kind of God he explained to us that you will have women with big boobs? What's wrong with the small ones? Size doesn't matter. Hmm? How big they are. Can you debate me face to face? No, I cannot debate you face to face because your face is an ass. Get lost. Your face is the same as the face of Allah. Look, at, let me show you this. Your Allah, he threatened the Christian face that he will erase our eyebrows, he will erase our nose, he will erase our mouth. And what happened? The that was erased. This is your prophet. Threaten the Christians, if you don't believe in me right now, Allah will erase your face, your eyebrows. And then what happened? Can you show me one Christian, his face is erased? His mouth became in the back of his head and it's a mute. His nose became inside his head. Because this is what it not must mean. If you want, I can show you the interpretation. You want to read it so you can laugh with me? So what kind of a prophet he threatened the Christian if you don't believe in me, Allah will do this to you and then nothing happened. Huh? Did Allah made this a threat? Is that hadith da'if? Ah, maybe it's da'if Allah. Allah is da'if. He made the promise to do it, but he cannot do it. Chapter 4, verse number 47. I got to go soon because I have some work to do. Right? But anything you say to them, it's daif, brother, it's daif. What you can say, it's daif. Allah is daif. He, you know, he threatened the Christians, he would do this to them, and look what happened, nothing happened. Hmm. How Allah will make our faces, my friend, according to the Quran, read carefully, this is Ibn Abbas. Allah will transform us, our faces, to the back of our head. 
Who is it? Or he will turn them into animals. <laughs> Different interpretation. Let us see. This is Ibn Abbas. Let us see a Jalalain. By the way, translation is very, very wrong. Okay. So Allah, uh, uh, he, look what he would do. We will elaborate, uh, obliterate faces erasing the eyes and the nose and the eyebrows. Right now, by the way, I don't have eyebrows. I don't have nose. I don't have eyes. Actually, where is my mouse? The guys, I cannot see anything. And he, in them, he turned them inside out and make them like a naps of the neck. Flat plate. This is what Allah, he would do to us if we don't believe in Allah. The most time they might say to you, oh, this is what happened in the judgment day. Liar. It says the same as we did to the people of the Sabbath. People of the Sabbath, he punished them already, right as they did break the Sabbath. Immediately. This is weak hadith. This is weak Quran. This is weak Allah. He threatened us to kill us, to erase our eyes, our eyes and our eyebrows. Women they would like, by the way, this option to erase their eyebrows. There's many women they take care from their eyebrows. By the way, do you know that the women they do that according to Muhammad? They will go to hell. And here you ask yourself, I mean, what kind of the, God, the prophet this prophet is? If you take care of from your eyebrows, you go to hell. If you rape a child at the age of six, like Muhammad, you are going to go to heaven and you are prophet. Why Allah is so upset from eyebrows here taking off? Let us find the hadith. I have to go soon and ah, here we go do you see it we have it in the front of us Read carefully. This is God. This is what? This is God. Is it Da'if? No, it's not Da'if. Allah, he curse the women who do the following. What she do? What the crime? The women who supply fake hair. Uh-oh. What if somebody, what if a woman, she is bald? I mean, why you want to look, make her look really not right? Women, you know, if, if they lose their hair, this is a big problem for them. Why Allah? Okay, what about you make her have a long hair, good hair? So the women who supply fair, fake hair and the one who asks for it, Allah, he curses them, they will go to hell. The one the one who pulls out hair for other people, of a woman, and the women who just, the, uh, the, the played there herself, and the women who tattoo, I can I say that tattoo may be fine. And the one, uh, uh, and then it says, when uh, uh, and the women, who add fails hair to their to the other women, and the one, women who uh, ask for adding for hair to her hair, and namisha namisha mean women who block hair from the bro until it make it thin. Do you see it? Why Allah is upset from a woman? She take hair from her. What Allah he is happy that your wife she have a mustache. What if a woman she is hairy and she have hair in her face? So what what we would do? If you see ever a Muslim woman and her eyebrows is not thick, that means she is disobeying Allah and she will go to hell. And the funny uh, Muhammad he used to do sugar. Anyone knows what sugar mean? Anyone knows what sugar mean when we say do sugar? He take care from his body. He do what?
he take hair from his body. So why the woman she is will go to hell if she take hair from her body, but Muhammad, if he unblock hair from his body to look nicer, he will not go to hell. At least the woman, she is a woman. Any Muslim can tell us? Why it's okay for Muhammad to take hair from his body? But the woman, she cannot do that. Who is the woman here? Anyone? No answer. Anyway, guys, I got to go. I apologize. I will try maybe at night if I can go live again. Uh, by the way, tomorrow uh, we will be in the quality of life account. Uh, and uh, yesterday actually we went there. We have a good time for those who join us. Don't forget to subscribe in Patreon so you will receive an email. You know, the good thing about Patreon, you can receive an email immediately when I'm going to go live on air. And many people, they think uh, by subscribing in Patreon, you have to make donation. No, you don't. N maybe 95% of those you see them in my Patreon, they are not making donation. All right. So uh, tomorrow, let me post the link for you guys in the chat. Tomorrow we will be in the other account. If you like to join us and have a good time, subscribe there, invite your friends, and you can watch the video we made actually yesterday last night, and you can get an idea, or any videos of the videos in that channel to get an idea what that channel is about. The channel there we speak about everything, but we don't talk about Islam, all right? Everybody is welcome, you can invite your friends, and we pray that the Lord always, he will give us the wisdom and the ability uh, to share the truth, and the truth will always set us free. Nobody can share the truth with you unless the Lord, he bless him, for the truth is coming only from one person, the same as lies. The father of all lies is the devil, and the father of the truth is our God, the Lord, the Messiah. He is your father in heaven. He is the one who called you my child for his loving and giving while the gods of other fake cults they call you a slave for they are looking for slavery our god he call us his children for he loves us for god he loved the words he sent his only begotten son he loved the words he do not need the slaves god is almighty he do not need the slaves he do not even need worshippers he do not need you. He do not need me. We need him. So the concept of God in Christianity is totally the opposite from Islam. While in Islam you are created to be a slave, in Christianity you are created to live as a child of God by his care and love. He allow you even when you speak to him to take all the majestic names you can add to the name of the Holy God and call him just Father. Look how humble he is, our father. You don't even dare to call a king father. They will punish you for saying that, especially in the old days. You are calling the king of kings father. And he asked you to use that word when you speak to him. For this is how he see himself for us. So we pray to our father the King of Kings, the merciful God, to take off, take care of his children, their needs, his, their health, to be with them when they need him. And remember, if you want the Lord to be with you, be with him, so he will be with you. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. But that means you should be in the front of his door, not far away. 
Ask me and I will answer you. Every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. So right now as we speak, we mention his name, he is listening. The Lord, the Messiah, is the only one who can save the whole world. You and me and the Muslims and the Hindus and the atheists. He love us all. But if you don't love him, don't blame him. For the rescue is not going to be for you. You see, when you accept the Messiah, is signing in a rescue list. It's saying, hey, I want to be saved. I want to be with you. If you don't want to be joining the Messiah, you are saying to him, don't add my name there. I don't care for your rescue. I don't even believe in you. Time will come and you will beg for rescue. Time will come and all the sorrow of the world will be upon you. And then it's going to be too late. By his glory and by him and for him, everything was created. He is holy, not by name only, but by act. He is amazing by wisdom and love. He is the one who says, love your enemy. That's why we love the Muslims, we don't hate them. We argue with their cult. We fight their cult. We might even scream at them. That because we love them, not because we hate them. When you love somebody, you don't tell him, oh, go ahead, do it, do it, do the wrong. No, you scream in his face. So he might wake up. So he might see the truth. And the Lord, he says, I am the truth. I am the way. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the door. No one can go to heaven but by me. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And they will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Take care.